Hey, I'm Paul, and we're so happy to have you in our congregation at Corinth Church. But before we get started into the fun stuff, we gotta lay out a few ground rules. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, let's get into it. Rule one, never take your disputes to a secular court. Well, that's it. Sweet by me, you suck. <laughs> no, I didn't lose. You cheated. No, you're just bad. How about we take this into secular court? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Brothers, what is... Rule one. What is rule one? Never take... Never take disputes in the secular court. That's right. All right, so we'll handle this right here now. Okay. Um, so I've gotten um, several recent reports about a certain member of the church doing uh, just some very inappropriate things with family members, essentially. For more information, I'd like you all to take a look at chapter five. Um, but. Uh, yeah, uh, you know who you are, just stop doing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rule number three, do not be divisive against your brothers. Hey, did you hear about the dumb new letter Paul's writing to us? <laughs> so stupid. I didn't actually think it was that bad. Well, then I think you're an idiot. Oh, yeah? I bet you didn't like it the way you were reading chapter five earlier. Well, hey now, hey now, boys, hey now, boys. This doesn't look like good Christian behavior, now does it? Now what was rule number three? Don't, Don't be divisive against, against your brother. Perfect. Now, seriously, take a good look at chapter five, all right? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> rule number four, pay no attention to false prophets. Hey, according to Paul, sexual immorality is a-okay. Hey, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no. Come on, we all know that's not true. Come on, fly the straight and narrow, my son. Come on, definitely false prophets. Rule number five, forgive those that wrong you. Get back! <laughs> hey, brothers and sisters. Oh, you see how I had just handled that situation there? I could have chosen violence and taken my revenge, but instead, I decided to remember rule five, always forgive those that offend you. And now, as a healthy reminder, next time you're thinking of donating somewhere, donate to the poor. Rule six, stay away from worldly things. <sighs> Look at me, oh lowly me. All I have to my name are my Bible and my goodwill tie. <sighs> what do you got there? Candy, a Nintendo, a phone. You're even wearing name brand. Look at you, man. You're sinking into the mires of worldly possession and loneliness. Why would you be satisfied? Look at that flap. Go ahead and exercise, huh? Filling your mind with brain rot and your belly with junk. What even is this crap, anyhow? Oh, gross! I'm taking this. Come on. Follow the straight and narrow, my friend. Thanks again for listening and tuning in to the rules here at Corinth Church. We hope you have a great day, and we hope this helped you grow in your faith. Have a nice day.